Two. It's a feisty one. Well, I wasn't really talking earlier because it was still kind of early and I was around a lot of houses. But it's been forever, it feels like, since I did a Whopper Pops video. So I thought I'd come down and try that today. Plus, I had a viewer ask uh, for me to smoke some bass. Hey, I think I've only ever did that one time in my life, and I can't really remember what they tasted like. Typically, when I smoke fish, it's mullet or kingfish, something like that that's real oily. So uh, I've got three in the box. I think we're going to go back and try to smoke some. I'm going to do a little bit more fishing. I have never fished this far down this river. I'm very near the coast. Sadly, cold front is pushing through right now, and I, I hear some thunder coming, so I'm probably going to have to cut this trip short. But I'm going to see if I can get a couple more in the boat before we do. fish. Oh, 
All right, a little chunk. Well, everybody, it looks like I'm going to have to cut this trip short, and I hate that because the fish just finally started biting. Plus, I was fishing a new area that seems to be doing well. Like I said, I'm right down here near the coast. I can actually look through this gap and see the ocean, so this is kind of weird bass fishing this close to the coast. But you just don't never know what you're going to catch in areas like this. might be a redfish, trout, or a bass. I know it's going to be a bit controversial to some of y'all. If you don't like eating bass, this is probably the time of the video you want to cut off, other than I might have some scenery driving out here. But I've got four decent size bass in here. Like I said, I had a viewer request or asked uh, to smoke bass. And it's a good idea. We, Me and Tiffany both love smoked fish. Smoked meat of any kind. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, i got to go home and do some chores today. So I don't mind babysitting the smoker. I think I'm going to smoke these over some pecan wood. Which is an excellent wood to smoke fish on. So uh, we're going to head back and do that. Like I said, I know it's controversial to some of y'all. This is Florida. We're loaded with bass. Got plenty of them. Keeping three or four every now and then is just not going to hurt the population. Actually, a lot of research shows keeping these little small male bass helps the population. And I always let the big females go. So stick around. We're going to go back and cook and eat. I'm going to do a little scenery riding out of this river. Looks like I've got thunderstorms to beat. Now, since I'm going to smoke these fish, I'll do them like I do a lot of other smoked fish, which is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is just cut the fillets off, and I'll leave the scales on the fish, and I'll put scale side down on the smoker. So I'm just going to come in behind the peck fins like I do all other fish, and just come right down the backbone. Go ahead and cut through the tail. Lift that fillet up. Work down. Come up and over the ribs through that set of pin bones. That's about all there is to it with the exception of 
there are a set of pin bones right here on that lateral line. So I'll come in on either side of them. Cut down to either side. And then I'll try to fillet that off the skin without cutting through. See if I can do it better this way. Now that's got all my pin bones in it. So all I did was just take that little center chunk of meat out. So now I've got a boneless fillet. So when I start picking all this meat off after I smoke it, I won't have to deal with those bones. All right, I'm get the rest of these cleaned up and we'll get the smoker lit. All right, I got the smoker lit and going. As far as seasoning fish for smoking, honestly, you don't have to put anything on them. It's the smoke flavor that you're really looking for. And if you're gonna make something like dip afterwards, you'll put all your seasonings in then. Now, since we're gonna eat a couple of these as just a smoke fillet, not put it in any kind of a dip, I'm gonna put just a little bit of seasoning on. Salt, pepper, either blackening seasoning or some kind of Creole seasoning. That's all you need, they come out great. Tiffany has decided that she wants some smoked fish dip. Anytime we smoke fish, it's hard to not make fish dip. So we're going to eat a couple of these plain or smoke just as a filet. Then we're going to put a few in some dip and see how it turns out both ways. All right, that was a little bit of blackening seasoning. Like I said, a little bit of salt. Fish always could use some salt. And then some old black pepper. Alright, all I did was start me a little bed of coals with some charcoal. And I take some of this split pecan that I have. Go ahead and put some chunks in there. And then I'll build up some coals with that pecan wood. And once that starts smoking, it's game on. You have to excuse the noise in the background. That's the camper AC. All right, as far as these fish go, I tend to smoke them around 225, 250. You can't always keep them perfect, and that's okay. And I'll smoke them for several hours, depending on what I'm gonna do. If I'm just gonna eat them, I'll come out and check on them periodically, and I'll pull them off while there's still some moisture in them. However, for dip, I don't mind if my fish is completely dried out because I'm gonna wet it back up with the ingredients. You know, like mayonnaise and Mariquip and everything else that I put in my dip. We'll close that up. Let them and that smoke fall in low for a little while. Alright, these have been on there a couple hours, maybe a little longer. They're looking really good. Now these are a bit thick, especially compared to something like mullet, which I normally smoke. So they're going to need a little while longer. Those are still kind of juicy, which is fine, but I tend to like my fish a bit dry for dip. Now this one looks pretty good. It's definitely up the temp, it's cooked. Still a little bit moist. This is a good one to try. So we're gonna eat this one and see how it tastes just as a filet. All right, like I said, I've did smoke bass before, but it's been so long ago and only one time I can't remember. I'm not expecting this to be spectacular because this is not an oily or fatty fish, which is typically what you want with smoked fish. But uh, we're going to try it anyways. The rest of the fish is going to go in dip unless this tastes amazing. So we just pulled this off the smoker. Had a little appetizer before we get to some other stuff that we were planning on cooking tonight. Holy moly, that's hot. So 
you can see I pulled this off while it's still moist. It's plenty cooked. But if you're going to eat it as a filet, I like for it to still be a little bit moist. If you're going to put it in dip, I like for it to be a little more dry because you're going to put it in mayonnaise and Maricoip and other things anyways. So, let's try it. Give me your honest opinion. I'm not expecting this to be great. pretty good. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, it's not super oily and fatty, which makes smoked meat taste awesome, but... It's not a strong fishy taste? No, not strong fishy. Mm -hmm. Good smoke, good flavor. Mm. I would definitely eat this again. Now there's scales on the other yeah, side. Yeah, I'm trying to throw it off. So, uh, yeah, it's really good. And actually, that blackening season's the perfect amount of spice for it, too. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, I've let these fish cool off long enough that I can handle them. So all I'm going to do now is start peeling the meat off the skin and separating it in my fingers. Just kind of rolling it in my fingers, balling it up, and just breaking it up before I put it into the pan. You're just kind of looking for some chunks, about like that, because you're going to stir it in and break it up even more a little bit later. And that little kind of hard outer crust, I like to break it up too because that's what's got all that good seasoning on it. And it'll soften up once we add all these wet ingredients. Okay, you can see there's the fish. All I did was just crumble them up. I've chopped up a half of a white onion. Just dice that. That's optional, but I have found the onion flavor is uh is amazing it's definitely lacking when you don't include it all right and i'm sorry i do not measure any of this but i just do everything to taste start off with some duke's mayonnaise best mayonnaise there is and this is coming from a guy that hates mayonnaise all right, I do not do my dip with cream cheese. Personally, I just don't like the texture of cream cheese. I feel like it makes the dip very thick, breaks the crackers. So since I'm not putting something sweet and sugary in there, I use Miracle Whip. And I know a lot of y'all do not like this, but this is a key ingredient. It's sugary, it's sweet. Trust me, you don't taste it, but you get that sugar and sweetness in there. And you wanna do about half Miracle Whip to half mayonnaise. I'll do some salt, pepper, usually I do some Cajun seasoning but I'm out but this blackened seasoning is very similar, tastes great. So I'll put some of that in there and again the fish already has this on it. I'll put some Worcestershire sauce, however the heck you pronounce it, probably a good tablespoon or so in there. And this Cholula hot sauce, Chipotle hot sauce, oh man, I love it. This stuff is amazing. I discovered it a few years ago. Anything that requires hot sauce, I put this in on. And I don't have it right here. I got to go find it, but I also put some regular Texas peat hot sauce in there as well. So let me go find that. I found a little Texas peat hiding in the corner. Just put a dash of that in there. And I'm gonna mix to taste. Now you can put some cayenne pepper if you wanna make this even hotter, whatever you wanna do. But you can see, it's kinda of how my wet ingredients look. And this is where I'm gonna start. It may turn out perfect, or I may have to continue to add to it. So I'm just gonna start mixing this all up. We like our dip pretty thick. I don't want to sit there and eat a bunch of filler like cream cheese. I eat fish dip because I want to taste the fish. So we'll leave it pretty chunky. This consistency is starting to look pretty good as is. The thing about this dip is too, 
the longer you put it in the refrigerator, the more those flavors come together and the better it'll taste. To get it close right now, but know that it will taste better and it'll get a little spicier and hotter the longer it sits in that refrigerator. I don't know, that's looking pretty good. Try just a little bit. I tell you what, <laughs> I got lucky. It tastes perfect, absolutely perfect. And I was eating some of this fish as I was breaking it up. And this was some of the bass that stayed on the smoker about an hour longer than what I pulled off earlier in eight. And I'll tell you what, it's tasting pretty dadgum good. Maybe not quite as good as smoked mullet or amberjack or mackerel, but uh, it, it's really good. It's good enough that I will be doing this again, especially if I'm in a crunch, can't make it to salt water. I'm, I'm really impressed with how good that bass tastes. All right, so that's the kind of consistency we're looking for. If it'll stick to a spoon and just barely fall off, I'm gonna cover this, stick it in the refrigerator for about an hour. And then we serve it on some regular old butter crackers. You know, people use different types of crackers, but this is my favorite. Tell you what, before I stick it in the refrigerator, I better let the boss come in here and test some, see how she likes it. All right, since Tiffany's the one that requested the fish dip, I'm gonna let her try a little bit. Like I said, it does taste a whole lot better in the refrigerator. But now is the chance to go ahead and mix and make it taste a little different if we need to. And let me know what you think for, this is our first time making bass dip. I think it needs a little bit more seasoning. You want more spice mm -hmm. and seasoning? All right. Just keep in mind, the longer it sits in the refrigerator, the hotter it gets. It's more um, like all day in there. Okay. All right. But overall, what do you think? It's good. Okay. It's not too too strong. All right. Is it a whole lot different than mullet or pretty similar? Mm -hmm. A little different? It's yeah. a little bit different. Yeah. Saltwater fish that are, like I said, oily, fatty, they definitely taste better. But this is not oh. bad at all for freshwater fish. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll definitely do it again. So we're going to make it a little bit hotter for her, throw some more season in there, maybe a tad more hot sauce. Uh, again, keep in mind the longer it sits in that refrigerator, all these flavors will come together and it will get hotter. But she loves spice and seasoning, so we'll give her what she wants. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, appreciate you joining this adventure.